Hi everyone, Lemon Cupcake of VR Infinity, and welcome to a new guide episode. Spoiler alert, we have two guide episodes in the making. I am doing my own, which is this video, and Ocap is doing his own, which is another video. So that's two separate videos in a shorter time. Big brain. My video will be about the new Android mobile app. I specifically see Android now because iOS is getting released. But since I have no knowledge of it, what different is, I'm isolating Android, uh, the iOS one for a future video. So, ha, more content. This is the guide video for VR chat on Android phones. So what is it? What's the difference between Quest and PC? And how do you get it? First of all, it is what it says. It's VR chat for your Android phone. You can find it on the Play Store. It is currently labeled as a beta app, so I think you have to probably get to the Discord server of VRChat to get the link. I can search now with the link, but I think originally you need the link from the, the Discord server. But if you're interested, just to be sure, just join the VRChat Discord server to get the link, which transfers you to the Play Store. Now, how, what are the requirements to be able to run this game? You need an Android phone with at least Android 10 or later with at least 6 gigabytes of RAM. So that should be most Android phones these days. They should specifically actually ask for specs, but nope. 6 GB RAM, Android 10, and an Android phone. That's it. So you install the app, and what do you get? Something cool that this app has, other than just the obvious, which is this in Android, the launcher in the beginning, which is kind of funny, I'll put footage up, it looks like Roblox apparently. I don't play Roblox, but a few of my Roblox player friends said, hey, that looks like Roblox. And then I looked at them and I, you're actually correct. So the launcher looks like Roblox. On the top, you could scroll between your online friends. There's a bell icon for notifications, which is just like the website. Separated between groups, friend requests, invites, and other junk that is in the other tab. And of course, you have in the whole UI the worlds. You can look for worlds, where you can go to, you can launch stuff over here. On the bottom, you have a few tabs. One is, of course, your profile tab. Then there is the friends tab which is just a full screen tab where you can see who is online and who is where and in the middle is a giant play button you click the play button and you just go to vr chat something new is compared to the other platforms you can still log in using steam meta oculus vr chat itself but there's a new google account thingy do not use it please don't use it. It's it's so it gives so many trouble to people. Just make a VR account if you're new or log in your existing accounts from the past. Do not make a Google account and link it to the VR account because it's still buggy. People have issues merging that thing and has issues doing stuff. It's still a bait after all. Anyway, so once you launch VR chat, you are technically starting in portrait mode and in portrait mode it's 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 not good i'm sorry it's, it's not good it is so weird unless you have like a fold like an, a, a, a samsung fold which has like a square aspect ratio or a tablet fine but um normal phones not fine so just just landscape the ui looks roughly the same but it, I'm gonna be honest, this is a guide video after all. The UI is not really friendly to touch. So when you just scroll to the menu, sometimes it thinks you're clicking on buttons. So it, it messes with the menu a lot. But yeah, other than that, it's copy paste the same. There are a few changes from the Quest build or the PC build. First of all, exclusively to the phone build, is you have a few modes. Like, you can change the field of view, you can touch the left and right side and hold in to move, 
if you then click on a menu the the camera goes to like the menu and then you can press whatever you need there'll be an x button and the menu goes back and you know if you are in portrait mode and you open the big main menu it just goes in landscape anyway those are some mobile new or bugs or whatever you want to call them but now what is removed because vr chat had to do some limitations first of all something i still am sad about the imposters vr chat's new feature it's not compatible you don't see imposters i, I thought they were supposed to replace fallbacks and make them more optimized but no they don't i had them for a while other than that, you also have limitations with the performance ranks. Very poor does not exist in here. So if your avatar is very poor, doesn't happen. So it's of course an Android phone app, so it uses the same engine as the Quest one. So imagine you're using a Quest headset natively, but in desktop mode, without very poor. But what else is changed? Well, in Quest PC and VR regular mode, you could, like I'm doing right now, not touching buttons and you can speak in the mic. But on phone, you have to physically press the mic button to speak. The second you let go of the mic, the speaker stops existing and then you're mute. It is good if you're like in a room where lots of people there, but I wish there was a toggle where I could just turn it on and just speak for a while and then turn it off again because it's annoying to hold the screen the whole time while also moving around. Performance is good. I tested this on the Z Fold 4, the Pixel 7a and the Pixel 8. None of it issues. The phone gets really warm though, but let's expect it's a very high demanding game. It, it did... Uh, how can I say it? The menu doesn't have the... Um, the uh, the gestures it has the 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 circle pad thingy the action menu which is there but it does not have the gestures so if you like to use like the f1 to 8 keys or your hand thingy they don't exist your avatar's face will be default whatever it is and you have to accept that the, the menu can be clunky on the bottom you can have like between action menu and the main menu and then the second one is between crouching and then halfway and then up. But yeah, the left side is a circle path. For a member, I think you can connect a controller, but from what I know, control support in VR chat, not good. And lastly, sadly, if you use wireless headphones, there is an issue. I don't know if this will be resolved. This bug has been in this app for like a while now. I just don't use headphones on these. Not that it's bad, just I just never tried it. This is the VR to Android app and I think it's a good thing. And I'm glad, just like I always do, the app is expanding to more platforms. And it's good. I would never say, you know what? Psh, goodbye PC, goodbye Quest, and I'm using the phone. No, not happening. But what I will do is from time to time when I'm on the couch or when I'm just lazy and I don't want to be in VR and I don't have my PC with me, I could just check something on my phone on the VR platform or just speak with someone quickly and then leave. So it's good for short sessions, but I don't expect anything more. Well... That's all I could talk about and guide you about the VR Chat Android mobile app. Still in beta, so if you have issues, don't complain too much. And if you do, go to their survey. You can find a link on the Discord server from VRChat. Or you can just search it up, I don't know. But I hope you learn something new. And if you have an Android 10 6GB RAM phone compatible device, you could always try it. It takes like half a gigabyte of storage on my phone. So it's not that demanding. Strangely enough, I thought VR had like a 20 gigabyte cap of this, but nope, only 500 megabytes. 
I hope they fix the fallback, the, the, the imposter thing, because not having very poor, but also not having imposters is kind of unfair. Hence why I still have my cons with me. My cons are what I use on the go. Well, goodbye. This is Lemon Cupcake. Thank you for my um, supporters, which are my current server boosters. And of course, my coffee helpers. Thank you for supporting me on Twitch and YouTube. And see you next time. Bye-bye.